forces have destroyed a Turkish fighter jet after it violated airspace in the country's north. Ankara, however, is now vowing decisive action in response. Our correspondent in Damascus, Maria Fanoshna, has more on this developing story. Both Turkey and Syria have now confirmed the Turkish fighter jet was downed by Syrian military, but still the countries have different view on why and how it happened. We are hearing from local media here in Damascus that Syrian military officials are saying that uh, they've acted according to international law because the plane did violate border regulation and did enter the Syrian airspace. And they're also saying that the plane has been flying at a low altitude and at a very high speed, which is the case when it tries to avoid air defense system radars. Meanwhile, Turkey is saying that it has lost contact radio and radar contact with its military plane while it was flying over the Turkish part of the Mediterranean. Following the emergency meeting of the country's Security Council, we've been hearing from uh, Turkish Prime Minister Erdogan's office that Turkey is ready to take all measures necessary decisively when the details of this incident emerge. So we're hearing such a strong statement while the investigation still continues. But we have to understand that this incident has come at the time uh, of the increased violence here in Syria and this new development with the NATO, uh, uh, NATO member fighter jet shot down, of course, may uh, provoke even further escalation and may even lead to a catastrophe. We've been hearing from the alliance's chief Rasmussen about a possible intervention in case of, uh, in case of uh, deadlock if the sides fail to find a unified solution without any UN uh, support, a UN approval. And many experts now say that this recent incident could be used by NATO as a pretext to start this intervention. Turkey has been known as a kind of backyard for, of the Syrian revolution. We've been hearing a lot, many reports about rebels being stationed in the country and training there. We've been hearing a lot about weapons being smuggled through the Turkish-Syrian border. And just recently, uh, the information emerged about CIA staff being uh, based in the southern part of the country, not far from the Syrian border. Called coordinating weapon smuggling and helping the rebels with recruiting and with providing them uh, with uh, the information, strategic information on the movements of the uh, Syrian army. Uh, uh, so Syria, uh, Turkey has been involved in this conflict of its neighbor. The question just remains open how far Turkey will go to topple uh, the regime it has been condemning repeatedly. Well, Colin Cavill, an academic and a Middle East specialist, says the intrusion into Syrian airspace by a Turkish warplane was no accident. I don't think it's simply a reconnaissance mission. Uh, it is, as I said, a probe to test uh, sec Syrian security uh, initiative and ability to protect its borders. Uh, the Phantom uh, is utilized and supplied by the U.S. to Turkey uh, and of course, uh, the United States and Turkey can claim that Syria has attacked it. Of course, uh, that would be the uh, ruse by which they would utilize if they wanted NATO to further intervene. So what you have here is a complete outside intervention into the sovereignty of Syria, and it's part of this larger plan to extend U.S. hegemony further into the area and then ultimately attack Iran and Libya and Syria or opposition.